uh, you know, what the initial stage of the protest round was. And then after the protest, we, we can talk about uh, the second stage, which is the signature gathering phase, which led to the recall elections, which are actually just beginning around now. Sure. Can everyone hear me from here? Do I have to get up? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so when Governor Walker introduced his uh, so-called budget repair bill that guts collective bargaining uh, for Wisconsin workers, there was really no, there was no warning, there was no, you know, there was no uh, test balloon. It really came out of nowhere. Uh, and the bill was fast-tracked uh, that from the day of introduction to the day that they planned on voting on it, uh, it was supposed to be about a week. Uh, and so uh, when we, uh, labor organizations, progressive organizations, started to organize uh, for rallies in the Capitol, it was really, uh, we had no idea what to expect, how many people we thought would show up. Um, it happened on a Friday. Uh, on Monday, uh, our graduate workers, the TAA, uh, and the Milwaukee graduate workers in Milwaukee had a Valentine's Day uh, event where they had you know, great coverage, people going to the governor's office to give them Valentine's to say, have a heart uh, and, and don't do this, uh, which was a really great kickoff. But again, we had no idea how big it was going to get in Wisconsin. Uh, and you know, the first day we had about 7,000 people on the square, and then it doubled the next day. And I think that it was really um, people showing up the first day and sharing their stories with their friends, sharing their stories with their neighbors uh, that allowed us to really expand what was happening. Uh, obviously, none of it would have been possible to get as big as it was without the, the 14 Democrats leaving the state on the day of the vote. Uh, but really, it was for, for me, it was all about the ability to communicate and share information. And I think there were a lot of people, at least that I spoke to, who were really scared you know, they heard about the rally and they didn't know whether they should skip work or they should come to Madison. They didn't know. And so when they saw the pictures, when they saw the, you know, when they saw what was happening and they heard from their friends what was happening, it really allowed it to expand into something that was, that was a lot bigger. Um, and, you know, AFT and, and there are some, obviously a lot of other folks from Wisconsin in the room, um, so it's, it's glad to see so many people. Uh, but I would really say that it was, it was very much organic, but it was also had a lot to do with communication and coordination amongst people who don't always play nicely together. Uh, I mean, even amongst labor organizations, we don't always play nicely, and we don't always know how to ask other people for help uh, and to join our fight. And so I think it was really the communication between labor organizations, progressive organizations, national organizations, to work together that this was more than about collective bargaining rights. This was a lot to do about uh, civil rights uh, and social justice that we were fighting for. Thanks, Scott. And 